let's take a look at some of the tools that I've learned over the years to be the most efficient for spreading mulch. So right here is my collection of all the tools that I currently use for installing mulch. I currently have four guys on payroll and myself. I've scheduled up to four of us at any given time for the larger mulch jobs and the longer days of just mulch job after mulch job after mulch job and this is the setup that we use. When I first started out solo my first year this was the only wheelbarrow I had. This was the wheelbarrow that I had from being a homeowner and I continue to use it. It's a one wheel wheelbarrow. It's very traditional. It's like uh, six cubic yards I believe. Metal tub here. You know it, it it's not it's not doing too bad it's still holding up but I mean it gets a little rusty because it's metal and the wooden handles I wasn't the biggest fan of because they just don't seem to hold up as well with all the bolts and all these things are always loosening up and falling out and I have to retighten them and replace different things and this thing never stays down no matter how much I tighten it so every time you dump it this comes up and rubs against the wheel so it's got its pros and cons there's obviously heavier duty brands out there than this one uh, for one wheeled wheelbarrows, but this is what I started with. Then I quickly realized by myself how inefficient this little one wheeled wheelbarrow was. So then I started looking into two wheeled wheelbarrows and then you can increase the tub size up to eight cubic feet because now you're not doing as much work because with the one wheel you have to not only, you have to balance the weight as well as pushing the weight where with the two wheel now you don't have to balance anymore you can literally push it with just one hand and not have to worry about balancing so you can hold more mulch so that was a game changer for me because i was able to take less trips back and forth by myself to spread mulch it also is a plastic tub which is like everlasting nothing's been wrong with it i've had had this for seven years this for six and then it's also it's got the metal metal handles all metal frame there it's held up a lot better it's a lot more heavy duty right here this is all one one longer solid piece here just a longer solid piece with double bolts so that it, it just can't flip up like this one just has one bolt so just increase it obviously increases the price too this from that is an increase in price you know you're looking at like you know this is probably like less than a hundred dollars if i remember and this is over on well over a hundred dollars close to two hundred dollars for this depending on how heavy duty the parts are some of them come with heavier duty wheels all terrain lifetime warranty all kinds of stuff now you're looking close to three hundred dollars for a 10 cubic yard which is eight cubic yard a 10 cubic yard version of this that's more heavy duty you're looking closer to three hundred dollars but it's got lifetime warranty with some other brands and so on so again this is kind of homeowner stuff but it still works it's what i used for the past six to seven years by myself and even last year when i first started hiring employees part-time the little bit of mulch that we did after i hired them we used these two wheelbarrows right here and they work just fine and it's definitely handy to, to still you know i held on to these even though i use this most of the time it's still good to have a smaller wheelbarrow because it's easier to get into some tight spaces that this big wider one couldn't get in like when you want to get behind a row of bushes or in between bushes so you can dump a pile so it's easier to spread it than trying to get a pitchfork and and reach around and all that and spread or just hand chucking it it's just more efficient if you can get the whole wheelbarrow through tighter areas. So it's still good even solo to keep a variety. So you have a smaller one for smaller spaces and this bigger one for just big wide open areas that you can just go, just fill this, overflow this, walk it, dump it, and just keep saving trips that way. But when you have multiple people, it definitely comes in handy to have more than one wheelbarrow because now you can be using two wheelbarrows at one time, going back and forth, back and forth. You also have some rakes here. Rakes are imperative. You can spread by hand, but that takes a heck of a lot longer. Again, there's going to be times where you have to get underneath things and bu bu like bushes and around trees and things with your hands. That's fine. But usually when you have large open areas, you just want to use rakes so you can really get in there and just spread everything out real quick and easy and, and even. So I started again with my little homeowner rake here. This is a, a hard rake. 
you know, rock rake, iron rake, whatever you want to call it, versus a leaf rake that's more flexible for leaves and sticks and debris. This is for raking up rocks and gravel and dirt and mulch. Um, so this red one here was the one that I had from being a homeowner and I used that for the last six years. And then I purchased this one uh, this past season here. This one is a lifetime warranty. They're very similar constructed. A lot of times there's wooden handles and what happens is the wood in here cracks and breaks over time and then just falls off and you just it's just not something you can ever repair. Um, ultimately, it's just gonna fall apart. So this one's metal on metal, but still not as heavy duty as this metal on metal. You know, this is welded down here. This is welded versus this is not welded. This is just stuck in there. And, and these, you know, these screws here or whatever are supposed to hold all of this together but this is actually welded on here so this will never come out this could potentially these could break or rust or whatever and this could potentially come out or break so this is welded so that's more heavy duty and just overall there's more weight to it it's you see it's taller it's wider so this is where your step up when you're looking for more of a contractor commercial application versus just being a homeowner this is where you're going to have heavy duty and like i said it's got lifetime warranty it was also like triple the price so you get what you pay for though i always grab this one first the guys usually grab this one because it's lighter i like this because it's it just feels heavy duty and i can just move more mulch with it next we have a pitchfork and a shovel you need both i was once told by a wise man Never use a pitchfork, always use a shovel. I didn't understand what he was talking about. I'm like, how can you shovel into mulch? That doesn't make any sense. So I got a pitchfork, a different pitchfork than this. It was actually a hand-me-down pitchfork, again, with a wooden handle, and it was a smaller, uh, there was less tines. So again, you couldn't scoop as much mulch. But even that being said, over time, over the years, uh, the, the wood rotted in here and it just broke and cracked and fell apart and I would constantly try and do things to fix it and replace it and ultimately this thing would just keep falling off every time I would scoop up mulch it would just get stuck in there or whatever so I needed to finally replace it so again this past season here I got this same brand as that one it's also lifetime warranty everything is 100% welded together this is all welded together one solid piece right here everything's welded one solid piece this isn't going anywhere even the handles are welded it's heavy duty it's also heavy which means it's heavy duty and you can you can scoop a lot of mulch with that to fill up your wheelbarrows quickly and more efficiently but why i say you need both is because if you're if you have mul if you're shoveling out of a trailer or a truck then you're going to need the the pitchfork so that you can get in there and scoop into the piles until you get it down to a manageable level. Then you can go to the shovel. Or if you're on the street and you're just directly working off the street on a hard surface where the mulch is always gonna kinda taper off anyway, you use the shovel to get right on there and you scoop it up. Just like you're shoveling snow. You can just scoop it up and you can get nice big heaping piles with that shovel of mulch. So you can fill up more mulch with that shovel faster than with this pitchfork in the right conditions again if you're shoveling out of a trailer or a truck and it's just packed to the top you can't you can't get the shovel underneath it and lift it because you're lifting a whole pile of mulch so you have to start with the top layers and use the pitchfork to dig into it dig into it dig into it, and start layering it back you know as the as you start digging digging down the layers you start tearing the mulch down so that it tapers off so that you can then use the shovel to scoop up underneath it. You're not scooping up as much and then you can really get bigger piles. But ultimately having both is great. Breaking up the mulch, like I said, working it down, scooping from the top and all that. The pitchfork comes in huge handy. If you didn't have that, it would be a lot more strenuous just using the shovel. And if you didn't have the shovel and you just used the pitchfork, well then you'd have a whole layer of mulch on the bottom of wherever you're shoveling from the road the trailer the truck that you wouldn't be able to ever scoop up with this so it'd be a waste of mulch so having both ultimately is key but when i first started out i just had a pitchfork a different one and those two wheelbarrows and that red rake like i said and i got a lot of spread a lot of mulch by myself i've since upgraded to getting a, a newer pitchfork like i said and also have the shovel and another rake so this is all helping 
make things more efficient. And now that I have employees, multiple people can be doing the same thing at once, shoveling, raking, wheelbarrowing. You got a tarp here. What this, what's the tarp for? You should always put a tarp down. If you're shoveling out of the back of a truck or a trailer, put the tarp down right underneath where the tailgate is so that as you're shoveling into the wheelbarrows, it's inevitable that some mulch is going to either blow off if it's a windy day or you're just going to accidentally spill a little bit here and there off the sides or whatever. That just helps make a catch-all, keep a cleaner surface. And this way when you're all done spreading the mulch and you're cleaning up, you can just pick up that tarp, you know, two people, it's easier to pick it up, make kind of like a, like a little envelope with it, and then just pour the mulch into one of the wheelbarrows with the leftover mulch. And then you can spread that, or you can just take the tarp right to the nearest mulch bed and dump it into the mulch. And this way you're getting rid of it that way. And then the blower, of course, so you can blow everything off. There's still gonna always be a little bit of mulch somewhere, especially along all the edges of hard surfaces where mulch goes up to a hard surface. You're gonna wanna blow that, make sure it looks nice and clean, walkways, driveways, the street, if you had mulch on the street or wherever you were spreading, uh, scooping mulch out of, even with the tarp, there's still sometimes a little bit of residue, so you want to clean up after yourself, give yourself a nice, professional, clean, finished product. Now, what is this thing? Well, that, my friends, is Cartmate. Hashtag Team Cartmate. I was one of the first groups to get Cartmate when it first came out. I heard about it, saw about it at the GIE Plus Expo this past October 2019. Found out that the manufacturer is only a few hours away from me up in Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, up north. So I went ahead and visited with them, met the owner. I already met him at the GIE and everything, and we kind of talked through, connected through social media. But I went up and spent the day with him and his team at their warehouse, looked at their products, talked about their products, shot a video that I'll put at the end of this video that you can take a look, get to know him and how he came up with the ideas. He's got two other great products for mulch in addition to this one and more to come, but I was just sold at how beneficial having this Cartmate would be for me. Because there was a time when I first started spreading mulch that I said to myself, man, it would really be great if there was like a powered wheelbarrow or some way like, you know, I used to take my garbage cans and put them, bungee them to the top here front of my Toro Grandstand because there's this wide platform here the way that the newer ones are constructed now and I would bungee them and I would scoop mulch into the garbage can just so that I could like ride up hills I have a lot of properties with steep backyards with a ton of mulch like up to five yards of mulch that has to be spread up there and I would just use a you know giant Rubbermaid garbage can and fill that up it's probably about you know close to six cubic feet I could probably get in that big garbage can and I would bungee and I would ride it up these hills and just dump it that way and that was okay but you know it wasn't perfect because the terrain wasn't always level so I had to be super careful otherwise I, if I hit a bump or went slightly leaned forward or sideways or whatever the garbage can would dump over would fall over and all the mulch would spread so I'd have to like hold on to the garbage can with one hand hold on to both controls with the other hand and I, I did whatever I had to do to make it work so I wasn't breaking my back over and over and over and over again going up the going up these backyards all the time and I just kept thinking to myself, man, I wish there was something that you could attach to the front so that you could do that. And, you know, I would Google stuff and research things. This was like, you know, five, six years ago and nothing like that existed. Nothing other than like some big, crazy, heavy duty, like buggies that were like thousands of dollars, you know, and I didn't want to spend that just to spread some mulch for a solo guy. Fast forward a couple of years, some manufacturers started kind of doing some different things, coming out with these hitch attachments to put on the on your mower of any kind so that you can add attachments to the front of your mower whether it be an aerator or a dethatcher different things like that a spreader various different things you can do but still nothing for mulch to this capacity until cartmate came around so again in the video that i'll put at the end of this video there's more detailed information about cartmate i'll let nick the owner and creator explain it better than I ever will but this is just another look at it if you are coming if you're seeing this video before that one but this is an awesome creation here he didn't invent this this is what I said another manufacturer that created these hitch attachments so you can just put stuff in there 
to attach to whatever mower you have, whether it be a stand-on mower or a sit-down mower. And this just goes right in there. And this whole apparatus here, this knuckle, allows this wheelbarrow to twist or go up or down to any degree so that you can go in and out of ditches and on and off curves and any contours of the ground that you're traveling over with mulch or whatever you got in here and this stays relatively level the entire time and now you're not pushing these wheelbarrows you're using the power of your mower to do it and then when you get to where you need to go you just lift this up and it flips all the way up and dumps all the material mulch or whatever dirt rocks out and you can make it and and this is this is 10 cubic feet right here you can put these little stake posts you can put some little stakes in there and add some wood sides to almost double the capacity there to make to have it overflow to be able to put even more in there you see the big caster wheels here just like a mower so you can just really navigate any kind of terrain super heavy duty construction super solid this is a great product i knew I knew that I needed this for my business and it's been a game changer. All the guys were like, man, that was clutch that you got this because when they started seeing all the properties that we, that I've been talking about and use this, ones that you gotta go from here, you know, we're getting scoop of mulch and we gotta go all the way down there to that red truck, to the backyard. Imagine doing that constantly with wheelbarrows by hand back and forth. I know everyone does it right, but you don't have to anymore if you get Cartmate. You just load this up and you just fly right on down there. Dump, fly right on back, load it, go, boom. In the time that it takes one person to huff all the way down there with a wheelbarrow and back, I've already done this two to three times. So it's just a game changer. It saves your energy so you can be more productive. You're not dead at the end of the day and you can just make more money ultimately. It's an, inv it's an investment that pays for itself in one season. All right, well, that's all I got. I think I went over everything. I covered it pretty good. Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. One thing that I know how to do like mowing lawns is mulch it's something that pretty much everyone that clicked on this video has probably done before or at least knows right you know you need a wheelbarrow and a shovel or you know a, a pitchfork or something so that you can actually get the mulch in the wheelbarrow and then you just go dump it spread it by hand whatever you got to do all this other stuff is just extra that i'm trying to lay out for you guys so that if you want to take it to the next level, whether you're a homeowner or you want to, or, or a contractor, or you want to become, or your homeowner wanting to become a contractor, this video is to help you head in the right direction and go from a rookie to a pro. But I'm curious to hear your feedback. What are some of your thoughts? What are some of your best practices? Is there a tool out there that I didn't, that I don't have yet that changed the game for you spreading mulch? comment below let me know let everyone else know we'd really appreciate it it's all about sharing and growing the community and we all learn together and get great together so i appreciate you guys clicking on this video watching it all the way through commenting below don't forget to check out the videos at the end here and remember to keep trying new things and be a rookie for life peace